I'm Charlene Kahn, Zoological Officer at the Ample Valley Zoo in Trinidad and Tobago, and this is the Pseudo Sphinx Moth or the Frangipani Moth. As you guys know locally in Trinidad, there's the Frangipani trees that most people have in their yards. The tall flowering trees with the white flowers on the top. And every time um, during the year you would see these caterpillars, big caterpillars which reach up to 15 cm in length, black with yellow bands and a reddish orange face. Everybody knows these bright caterpillars. So what do they do? They live on the trees, they feed on the trees. It's the host plant for the caterpillar, the frangipani. It's also called the frangipani caterpillar. Then these animals turn into a cocoon. They go through metamorphosis, turn into a cocoon, but they don't hang from the leaves. They go into the earth or under the leaf litter and turn into a cocoon that turns brick red in color. Now here at the zoo, what I've been doing, I did a little experiment with the frangipani caterpillar. So I raised one from very small into the moth and this is the moth he came out of the cocoon this morning it's called a pseudo sphinx moth now everybody knows the caterpillar but not everybody sees what it turns into so it doesn't turn into a butterfly but it turns into this moth look at it guys how amazing it's this look at those large eyes it's said to feed on nectar from flowers at night so he, t he came out of the cocoon and he left the cocoon behind. It looks like a hard shell now. And we, I found him this morning as a moth. Look how beautiful this is. So I did this project to show you guys what that caterpillar turns into. It turns into the pseudo sphinx moth. So what I'm going to do with him now, I'm going to release him outdoors. And so he can live his life as a free wild pseudo sphinx moth and then he can go back to a horse tree, lay his eggs and the cycle happens all over again. Isn't it amazing? Nature is so amazing. So he was just fluttering those wings, he's stretching those wings, those wings are drying, ready for flight and he'll take off when he's ready. So it's the pseudo sphinx moth, it's what the frangipani caterpillar turns into. Guys, I'm so excited this morning because really, really excited for this project. We all wanted to know what do those caterpillars turn into? And guess what? The tree doesn't die. A lot of people think that the caterpillar is going to destroy their tree, um, but it doesn't die. After they eat the leaves, they go into the cocoon, the tree springs back and it flowers again. Fresh leaves ready for the next set of caterpillars. So it's the, the cycle of life, guys. Look at it. And by the way, we name him Roy because my colleague got him as a little caterpillar of his tree in Roystonia, Cuba, just so you guys to know. So welcome to the world, Roy. You guys seeing his body? And he was just flapping his wings super fast. They also found in Central and parts of South America, so. Pseudo Sphinx Moth guys from the frangipani caterpillar that we know. <laughs> okay.